Creating an account in Dentrix Enterprise. In Dentrix, the patient is not a patient of record until the patient is in the practice and the registration is complete. First, you will select the patient from the schedule and mark them as being here. Now, select your patient and select the family file icon from the top menu bar. Now select File. From the drop-down, select New Patient with Appointment. If none of the family members or the patient has been seen in the office, go ahead and choose Create a New Family. If the patient's family members have been seen, choose Choose a Family by selecting the family, and then you would want to add that patient to the current family. However, for this example, we're going to choose Create a New Family. Now, enter the patient's information. If the patient is older than 18, then you will want to fill in the title and select Print Title on Statements. Now, you want to update the patient's status, gender, and marital status fields. These three right here. A patient is a patient of record. A non-patient is when you would like the patient to be used as a subscriber and not be seen in the practice. Inactive is when the patient elects that they will not return to the practice. And then archived is when a patient has passed away. Now fill in the date of birth. We need to try to get at least the social and the driver's license. If the patient refuses, we need to get at least one form of identification to properly match it with the patient. Update the address field. Now, for the email address, it's important to get the uh, email address for electronic communication, i.e. marketing, confirmation, etc. If the patient declines, you're going to mark it as declined. Now, nine times out of ten, the patient will give you their mobile phone number as their home phone number. If this is the case, then we will cut and paste the home phone number and place it in the mobile. You would fill out the fields accordingly to the paperwork. Now, Provider 1 will be the patient's default provider. This can be the clinical director, managing doctor, or diagnosing doctor, etc. For new patients, you want to copy and paste Provider 1 and you want to paste it into the initial provider. Provider number two, this is designated for a hygienist. If the patient elects to have a preferred hygienist, then you can update this field. If not, leave this blank, unless you only have one hygienist on staff. Leave the office number or the clinic number as is. This defaults from the office you're logged into. Now we have to update the fee schedule. So for our patient, they are an HMO patient with plan number L. So I'm going to select here to search for my fee schedule. I have to choose where it says Show Clinic. Go ahead and choose All. Now, if it was a PPO, I would search by the office number. So I type in the office number 41, and then I bring up all the PPOs that are assigned to office number 41. These are all of our PPO fee schedules. But in this situation, we have an HMO patient, so I'm going to type in AET. You'll type in the first three letters of the carrier. Now. In the listing, you see that we have two different versions of the fee schedule, Aetna and JA, plan number one or plan number two. Inside the head of household information box, we are always going to put fee schedule number one. So ver version number one will always go in the fee schedule box in the head of household information. Lastly, we want to update the communication preference for our call center. Patient wants to be contacted by mobile phone, and then we would say the time to call would be evening. Now, once completed, the chart number is going to auto populate based on Dentrix uh, default settings. Once you're done, you just hit OK. If the referred by section is not completed or it hasn't populated from the initial screen, then you would have to go ahead and update it by clicking on the referred box after you select OK. 
Now the patient's information has been complete. The next video will show you how to fill in the medical alerts.